hello kids let's learn something interesting today as you know that soil is formed by the breaking down of tiny fragments of tiny pieces of rocks plants and some other particles and all these dust particles comprises to form soil and the process of breaking down of rocks into small pieces is known as weathering so in this way soil is formed once the soil is formed it settle down into layers the upper layer of the soil is called the top soil the top soil contains humus what do you mean by humus humus is a substance which is made from dead plants and dead leaves and it helps the plants to grow as humus makes the soil fertile fertile means the soil is best and fit for the plants to grow so the top layer of the soil contains humus in it what will happen to the soil if the wind will blow fastly or if the water will flow heavily or if the soil is washed away by the water what will happen to the soil obviously the top layer of the soil will be affected first because it will be carried away by the heavy wind by the flow of water and the complete removal of the top soil will be removed completely and as the top soil will get affected along with it humus will also be removed as i told you that the topmost layer top soil contains humus so once the top soil will get affected humus will also get affected and once the humus will get affected then the soil is no more fertile and the soil is unfit for the plants to grow and it will result into barren land what is a barren land barren land means there will be no more vegetation no more plantation by the plants as the top soil is affected as the humus is removed this will result to become the barren land and the process by which the water or the wind carried away the soil removed the soil washes the soil is known as soil erosion what do you mean by erosion erosion means to erode erode means to destroy something to destroy badly slowly and slowly to destroy something so here it is the discussion is about soil erosion means to destroy the soil either by wind or by water the very common agent of soil erosion is wind wind blows away the top soil from the places where there is no vegetation where there is less plantation less vegetation as you know roots of the plants hold the soil so in some places the speed of the wind will be reduced where there are many plants and many trees so there will be no soil erosion but in places where there are no plants less vegetation less plantation then the soil erosion is very common in that dry places especially in desert area as there are no plants and the soil gets affected in this way that is through wind so this is all about soil erosion by wind another one process of soil erosion is the erosion by water in places with less plantation less vegetation water also washes away the soil particles it removes away the soil particles the top layer of the soil soil erosion by water is very common in the hilly places where the river it carries the top soil and flows down the slope flows down the hills this soil finally gets deposited in the plains by the river and these river water it carries the soil and gets deposited to the plains when the soil deposit increases day by day year after year after so many years then the river changes its path it changes its course 
once the river changes its path to flow on land and it leads to destruction causing flood it leads to flood leading to damage to life and property so this is about soil erosion by water so did you see that with this erosion by water it can leads to flood also because once the river water will changes its path it will not flow in the it will just come to the land once the river will change its path it will come to the land then it will lead to flood it will lead to many damage to life and property can you see how soil erosion affects to other things also soil erosion is also caused by human beings human beings have become very selfish because of their own want because of their own needs they cut down the plants they cut down the trees they destroy the forest in order to build factories in order to take the woods in order to build roads in order to build their requirements from the wood and because of these requirements because of their own want they cut down the trees they cut down the plants so this is called deforestation what is deforestation the cutting or down of trees the cutting down of trees is known as deforestation the roots of the plants hold the soil so as it hold the soil so it will not allow it will reduce the soil erosion but if the human beings will cut down the plants it, if the human beings will cut down the trees then the soil gets easily eroded either by wind or by water so this is another process because of human beings soil erosion can be caused another one thing is in the crop field when plowing is done either by plowing machine or by any of other means when plowing is done then plowing leaves the soil very loose and once the soil is very loose they easily get flow by wind or they easily get flow by water and then it also leads to soil erosion last but not the least because of animals also somewhere somewhat the animals are left to the land they are left to eat they are left to eat the plants left to eat the grass for more time and as they eat the grass they leave the land completely uh, unfilled with plants they eat away the plants they remove the plants cover and this also leads to soil erosion because of overgrazing by cows by goats by cattle so this is another way this is another problem this is another agent of soil erosion that is because of human beings so today we learned about soil erosion and the process of by which the soil can be destroyed the soil is removed away and carried away by wind and water is known as soil erosion it is done erosion by water that is i told you by river water or erosion by heavy wind or erosion due to human activities the only outcome the only way the only thing from which we can stop this prevent this soil erosion is to plant more and more trees that's why every time we used to celebrate and observe environmental week in order to stop this soil erosion and moreover in order to stop many other things like your pollution control okay so that is why we always used to tell you plant more and more trees okay so up to this much we learned and we taught i taught you today in the morning so again if you have missed anything you can again watch my video go through your book and be ready for the worksheet thank you children